Good morning, everybody. Good night, everybody. Oh, yes? Yep. It's dipshit day. What is, what is dipshit day? Dipshit? Dip your head in shit? What? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> dip shit. That's what I'm talking about. I thought it was payday. Not dip your head in shit day. Yeah, it is. Dip your head in shit day. Uh, oh. Look it up on Urban Dictionary. You might learn something. I don't want to know. So, um, mom. Some parents say to, say, say to people, dip shit. Well, look up the term of dipshit on fucking Urban Dictionary. <laughs> it's not too pleasant. I don't want to know. You, but don't want, you might not want to know. But yeah, you guys, if you guys want to look it up, look it up. That's up to you. <laughs> Cincinnati bow tie is even worse. Yuck. It's like, bleh. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, most of my paycheck is gone already, and I just got paid today. I had to pay my... Verizon wireless bill for the iPhone and my car insurance. And after the first, everybody that I pay starts automatically withdrawing out of my account. So after Avatar, that's the last concert for a long while because I have to catch up. And for Avatar on the 11th, we will need gas and food money. Luckily, we're not getting a room. We'll just drive back. So... That's the last extra thing for a while until Mackinac Island, which hopefully it'll be on a weekend and I can take Don. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but there's no set time for that. We'll just pick a day off when we have some money when we want to go. It's no set date on that. Yeah. We just don't really want to go in July because then it's so busy you can't walk down the sidewalks. June is usually the best. Is it? Yeah. I worked there. I should know. I used to have to walk through this down the street because you couldn't walk on the sidewalks because there were so many fudgies. Oh, well, you're a fudgy when you go there. Yes. You're a tourist when you go there. Yeah, but I'm just saying, in July, so, holy therefore, shit. You're a fucking fudgy. Yes. So, well, there That's you what go, I then. said. I used to work there, but now I go back and be a fudgy once a year. Oh, you are a fucking fudgy. Even when you're not there and you're back from your own town, hometown, you're still a fucking fudgy. Why? <laughs> Just because. Pack that fudge. No, not that kind of fudge. And for anybody from out of the area who doesn't know, fudgy is another term for tourist. Because up on Mackinac Island they sell so much fudge. They have like 15 fudge shops. And everybody wants the fudge, so they call them fudgies. And they call them that in Mackinac City and St. Ignis too, because they're the two mainland towns right by the island, and they have fudge too. And everybody wants that fudge from all over the world. Another tourist name around here is uh, Flatlanders. People from downstate? Yeah. Yeah. That's another uh, name for them, Flatlanders. Yeah, because it's pretty flat and boring looking down around the cities. Yeah. So he's just waiting for Dan to come get him for payday, and, and I guess they're going to do some work. Yeah, I'm just waiting on Dan to see if he can get that business loan. Yeah. Who knows how long that'll take. Yeah, I don't know. But if it goes through and it's too late, then Dan just might say, hey, let's go and get the tractor. Yeah. Well, I don't know if they can approve it in one day. Well, uh, I think it depends on your credit. I don't know if they will or not. Yeah, because when I tried to get a loan, it, it took them like a week to make up their mind. Way back in 97, and of course the answer well, that, was that's no. because they have to put it through the loan board. Yeah, so he might not get it today. He might not, but like I said, you know, if he doesn't like what they have to say, he's got elsewhere he can go, so. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised that he could walk me on the way out and say, hey, I need 10 grand and probably walk out the same day with it. Yeah. And if not, maybe the next day. And I work 5.15 to close, so I have to eat some breakfast and egg and toast, then I have to... Uh, ride the bike and then I have to take a shower and then I have to go to work but I have a lot of time because I got up earlier than I planned 
And here's Sammy licking his butt. Look at the cat lick his butt. Hercules, Hercules. So, Dan was here, but he has too much bank business to do. An appointment at 3 o'clock and stuff, so they decided not to work. But he... He wanted more eggs, so he brought these to trade for eggs. He does not have to bring payment for eggs. But I don't want any of these. So, they're all Don's. He already had one, and he's got three more to eat. Do you well, want them in there? I had two. You had two? Yeah. See, there's six all together. Oh, I thought there was four in there. Nope, six all together. Oh, do you want them in the refrigerator? Ones. Probably wouldn't hurt because it's frosting like goo. Yeah. So yeah, I told Dan if you ever need eggs, just speak up and you can have them. Yeah, so he why doesn't he have to. Those, I don't know. Well, l at least you got a treat out of it. Well, he only paid a dollar eighty. Yeah, well, still. And when we do sell the eggs, we get money for them. We only charge two bucks a dozen, so. Yeah. And right down the road from us, uh, coming in, on the Binks, I think it is. Uh, somebody selling them for two fifty a dozen. Yeah. But we don't have signs out saying, you know, two dollars a dozen or nothing, so. Yeah, we, we gave them we two just, dozen, so. We, we just more along the line just give our extra to, out to the families and shit. Yeah. Tug's on the porch. And I don't know where Sammy went. Well, he's out there dicking off somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to run the store and get some longer screws. Oh, yeah, for the door. The handle yeah. bro finally broke off. Yeah, I was Completely. wondering when it was going to break off. I knew it was going to break off soon. What did you do with the other half of the handle? Mm, I'm looking. I thought you told me that you told me to throw it away. Yeah, I did, but... Did you take it out? I think I did end up throwing it away. I was thinking about getting some longer uh, wood screws. Uh. And get going out and getting a piece of round wood, like a piece of oak or whatever, to put on the outside. And then just put screws in and screw it right into the wood. Yeah. But It'll have to be something really strong or with how hard that door opens and closes, we just rip a piece of wood right apart. Otherwise, well, I think I said oak. Yeah. We don't have any ash around here, otherwise I get ash. Ash yeah. is even worse. Oak's some fucking hard shit and ash is even harder. Yeah. Well, you went to town and got screws, and then you made this. There. <laughs> Out of this walking stick. He says it's oak, and that it should hold real good, so I hope so. Getting tired of not being able to open the door. You know, a piece of work for now, until it breaks, and then put another one on. Yeah. What are you doing, Tug? Tug! You know what, but? Yeah, I just got a call from uh, Mike and Megan. Um, we can go and get our uh, fridge and washer and dryer now. Um, they said that they'll make sure that the door gets unlocked and is left unlocked for us to be able to get in there and get our stuff. They're pretty, pretty much out of there now, so... Now it's just I'm uh, getting a hold of Dan to get over there with a trailer to load our stuff up to get it out of there. So probably uh, if don't get it tonight, probably go and get it first thing tomorrow. So it'll be a refrigerator and washer and dryer day to either tonight or tomorrow. So it's a possibility it could be tomorrow because it's going on 8 o'clock tonight. But other than that, I'm going to just sit here and relax for now, get ready and start cooking some uh, supper. Alright guys, I'm going to get ready and go to bed here in a couple minutes. Um, I ended up making chicken breast, uh, garlic flavored mashed potatoes, broccoli, and some deviled eggs for supper tonight. And I made up Tineo's plate and put it in the fridge for her. 
because of what I ate and everything. I don't want the food going bad on her and spoiling. But other than that, I'm going to go to bed and get some sleep tonight. It's going on 11.30 right now. So it's pretty late out. And Tennille doesn't get off work until 11.45 tonight. And then it'll probably be about quarter after 12, maybe shortly after that, that she'll be getting home. I'm not going to stay up that late because I'm, i got to try and keep in the routine of, get, be, of getting in bed at least by a fair time. But other than that, good morning everybody. just walked in the door and of course Donna's sleeping and there's food in the refrigerator for me so I'm going to eat it. And I'm going to say good night and I hope that you enjoyed the video and you like, subscribe, comment, share and you're having a good night. Bye.